Good morning, friends. So today we are going to be reading another book about Easter. And this is about a certain rabbit who I read a lot about when I was growing up. So let's dig into Peter Rabbit's Happy Easter. Peter Rabbit's Happy Easter, written by Grace Macaron and illustrated by David McPhail. Peter Rabbit was feeling very sorry as he had been a very naughty little bunny yesterday. He had snuck into Mr. McGregor's garden, though his mother had clearly told him not to, and he had lost his quite new blue jacket. Now Peter was determined to do something wonderful for his mother, so she would see what a good little bunny he really was. Then she would love him more than she loved his sisters, Flopsy, Mopsy, and Cottontail, who never seemed to do anything wrong. And so began Peter Rabbit's exciting Easter adventure. One sunny morning, Peter was walking past Mrs. McMullen's hen house when he saw that there were so many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So he took a few eggs from the hen house and went along his way. By and by, Peter walked past Mr. Holloway's hen house, where he saw that there were many, many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So he took a few eggs from Mr. Holloway's hen house and went along his way. Not much later, Peter walked past Mrs. Jones' hen house and saw once again that there were many, many, many more eggs than anyone could possibly need. So he took a few eggs from Mrs. Jones' hen house and went along his way. By noon, Peter had gathered an enormous number of eggs, which he carried to his home at the bottom of the very big fir tree. What a good little bunny I am, thought Peter. Mother will be so pleased. As you may have guessed, Peter was not the tidiest of little rabbits. As he tried to carefully stack the eggs against a wall, several open jars of paint, yellow, orange, red, purple, blue, and green, toppled over. And what a wonderful accident it was. The eggs were now decorated with all the colors of the rainbow. Presently, old Mrs. Rabbit returned from the baker's to find a house full of painted eggs. I gathered them just for you, Peter said. Now, my dear, said old Mrs. Rabbit, quite amazed by the inventiveness of her son's mischief, while I appreciate your good intentions, you should not take what isn't yours. You really must return these eggs to their owners. So that night, Peter returned every one of the colorful eggs. And the next day, Mrs. McMullen's, Mr. Holloway's, and Mrs. Jones' children, along with all the other children of the neighborhood, were delighted by what they found scattered in their gardens. As it happened to be Easter Sunday, the once quite naughty Peter Rabbit started a new tradition and earned himself a respectable new name. And Peter Rabbit became the Easter Bunny. So friends, in this book, we heard about Peter wanting to do something nice for his mom. And of course, he didn't go about it exactly the right way, but he did make it right in the end. So my prompt and activity for you today is to do an act of kindness for someone in your house. So maybe you wash the dishes for your mom when she isn't looking, or maybe you uh, make a piece of art for when one of your parents get home from work or you help your little sister with some of her homework. Whatever it is, um, do an act of kindness for someone else today, just like Peter did. So let's pray. God, thank you for showing us what it means to be loving and kind. I pray that today and every day that you would help us to um, follow in your example. We pray this all in your good and gracious name. All right, guys, so I will see you this weekend for Digital Sunday School, and then I'll see you for story time next Monday. Bye!